So Morgan, you spent 11 seasons with one team, mm -hmm. and then you move on to a different team. How hard is it to make a change, especially when you have a job that's so regimented, so routine, right. and it's the same over and over and over and over again? Yeah, I mean, I so I was in Baltimore for 11 years, nine of which I spent with the same two people, uh, two kickers and punter. And um, yeah, we did. We had our routine every single year, spring, training camp, you know, all the way through the season and everything. It was definitely a change, but you know, I've enjoyed getting to find a new routine with Brett and with Randy. Did you ever take a minute to think after you were informed that you weren't going to be coming back with Baltimore to be a Raven again? You know, I've won a Super Bowl. <laughs> I've, won, I've gone to the Pro Bowl. Right. I've been named All-Pro. Maybe this is it. Like maybe I'm done. Did that thought ever occur to you? No, it really, it really never did. I, I just love what I'm doing, and um, I knew that the Tennessee spot might be open. I'd uh, maybe put in a word with Brett right after it happened, and I, I knew that was a possibility. Growing up a Titans fan, there's no way I could have thought about that. So, yeah. Who is more excited to come to Tennessee, you or your family? Oh gosh, that's a tough one. Like I said, I'd grown up a Tennessee Titans fan. You know, I, I came to uh, a game and with five of my other high school buddies and we did the Titans across our chest. It was like the middle of December. So I was a diehard fan back in the day, but my parents have come to every game. I'm, I'm two and a half hours away from, from everybody in Memphis and going to school in Knoxville. I, you know, I'm so close to everybody that I spent so much time with. So I don't know, that's a toss up. It's got to be good to be out of a kind of the Northeast and that sports world and back in SEC country, back yeah. in Vol Nation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's got to be a lot of things that just feel good about being home. I, I see a heck of a lot more power tees around town than I did up in Baltimore. There'd be the occasional one, but even now I'm still getting used to like, you know, oh, there's a power tee because like I said, for 11 years, that was such a big deal if I saw one around Baltimore. But but yeah, it does, it definitely, you know, it feels like home. Tell me a little bit about working with Craig Ackerman. What yeah. is his style like? How has he been able to help you maybe become a better long snapper? Absolutely. He, that's another attention to detail thing. He, he, he doesn't let me take a play off. You know, today at practice, he offered some, some coaching for how I wanted to, how I, I should have played the play. And he brings a lot of energy, a lot of excitement to the meeting room, a lot of excitement to practice, makes it, keeps it fun, keeps it light. It's a great atmosphere to, to be in, to, um, to get better in each, each day. Are you surprised by the longevity that you've had in your career? Surprise would probably be a good word for it, to be honest with you. I remember an older snapper commenting on, on me as a young snapper and, and saying that I could play 10 years in the league. And to me, that just that seemed like an eternity. And so I was really excited about you know, the thought of being able to play that long. But you know, now that you know, I'm in my 12th season now, it seems like it's just it's been a blink of an eye at the same time. So I still feel like I can play several more years in this league and I'm excited to see what the future holds.